Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Tony, and welcome back to another video. Yes, it's gonna- I know I said that, that, that the last video I made on this would be the final one, but there's just more to talk about here. And this will be a response to Review Tech USA's video on this- on this topic, and I'm just gonna- gonna just- just give him a shout out and stuff because I love Review Tech USA, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and stuff, but joining me for this video is... Razor Blade is each well. Hello, Razorblade, and before I forget, today is uh, Toby's birthday, so happy birthday to Toby, as of, the, as of this recording and stuff. And, um, and we're gonna talk about the PlayStation Classic selling poorly, and it is no surprise that this system is selling poorly. I knew from the start that this system was, that this thing was going to be a piece of shit to begin with, because only 20 games on it, 16 of them I, I own, and 9 out of 20 of the games use the PAL region versions, so that means you get a slower frame rate and, and are just buggy and stuff, and even the ones that aren't using PAL run like shit, like Twisted Metal and stuff. Now, from what I heard, like, um, they're, they're already dropping the price down and stuff. Because it's not selling well. You go to you go to Best Buy or GameStop or other places, and you'll see tons of them stacked up. Because nobody wants to buy them. Because because people knew that the, that that it was going to suck in the first place. At least we knew. People who own the original PlayStation and stuff. This is my my original PlayStation right here. It and still runs like time. a it still runs like a butte. And guess what? It works perfect. I, I guess what? This is all I need. I don't need a smaller version of this. And look, look what else. My one of my original controllers, the non-analog one, still runs like like a beaut. So I don't need. So I don't need a PlayStation Classic anyway. When I got this, when it still runs better and even and even cheaper too. Well, except that well to that buy one course, is cheaper. Except that my a PlayStation here is going to see. Well, it doesn't really work that well anymore. Since it's a kind of a later model, and these kind of later models aren't really well known to work well. But hey, it actually still has that parallel port on the back. Yeah, and that you know, this thing runs ten times times better than than the PlayStation Classic, which was released like you know, like 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 um, which was released on the surface, which was released as this recording thirteen days ago, almost two weeks ago. <laughs> That's hilarious, right there. But what do you got? What are your thoughts on this whole thing about about the, about the sales doing bad and stuff? Take it away. Well, I think the poor sales are pretty much uh, highly warranted. I think we knew it was gonna happen anyway, Toby. But it's just did not expect this to drop to drop down this this much. In fact, it fails to overtake the SNES and NES Classic editions by a long stretch. Although just uh, now these uh, systems are going to discontinue after the holiday season apparently. Because of Nintendo no, so being trolly and greedy and so on. Yeah, well, well the, but, but, but therefore, th that's for another day. But like, I don't know, it's, like, it's, it's only a matter of time, time before the PlayStation Classic fades, it fades into obscurity as well. Like, no one, no, like, it's just that it's gonna become obsolete and stuff, and just no one's gonna even remember or even care for it. And yet, it just, I, I'm just, I'm just disappointed, because me being a Sony fan, even though I wasn't even going to buy this thing, I had hoped this thing was going to be good. But what do you expect, though? They're ROMs. They're not, they're not the actual games. They're not games that you find here on a CD. I mean, this runs well. And this is what you call a game. A ROM is something, is something that, that, that that's online stuff. Now I don't, I don't download ROMs because ROMs f have problems, graphical issues, bugs, clipping issues, and stuff, and gameplay issues and stuff. And just you have to. And, and in fact, when you don't have don't have a controller, you use a keyboard, which sucks too. I rather buy this a game in a CD case instead of something online. That's one of the reasons why gaming these days has gone majorly downhill, big hill and stuff. But what else do you got to say about this, Toby? Well, as we all said before, the PlayStation Classic is absolute shit. It's just something that you'll probably be better off getting a Raspberry Pi because you can do so much on that one instead of on, the, on that crappy PlayStation Classic. Or buy one of these. They're not soaks. They're not expensive, people. You'll probably much at most spend like forty bucks on them. But these things aren't 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 that expensive. They're not that not the cheapest either. But still, buy one of these is more well worth it because you get your money's worth. I mean, I just don't understand here. I just don't understand. I mean, like people like oh, it's got HDMI. These games were never meant to be in HDMI. 
in 69 out of the 20 games I already mentioned I own. And the games here don't even run so well. I mean, Rayman, from what I heard, runs the smoothest, but that's a 2D, that's, that, 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 that game's 2D. It was one of the launch titles for the, for the PlayStation. Of course this game's gonna run because it's cartoon-like graphics. It's, it's not gonna have any frame rate issues and stuff. But what I heard, from what I heard from a few tech USA and Dreamcast guy, one of them said this, but Cool Borders 2 ran like shit, Twisted Metal ran like shit, Tekken 3 ran terribly because it was, because it was 10 less frames because it was a power region game, you can see a big dip in stuff. And of course, I don't know how, how the other games run, aside from Twisted Metal, because Twisted Metal runs, runs bad too, and that's not even, not even a power region game, and, and Arthur Richard Type 4 runs bad too, it's like, no care effort went into this at all. And in fact, Japan, has a much better game selection for the PlayStation Classic than, than than we do here in the West and in Europe. So what the hell happened here? They got Parasite Eve and stuff like that. Why didn't we get Parasite Eve? I don't know. And, and what's even worse, they even got Armored Core, which was also one of my games from my childhood. Yeah, Armored Core, yeah. yeah or I don't know what, what, what other games they have, but Parasite Eve, why didn't we get that? I mean, why couldn't we, I mean, in fact, there were supposed to be 36 other games on this, on the thing, like I said, but for some reason they weren't on there, like, we were supposed to get Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2, we were supposed to get Tomba, we Earth were supposed Bandicoot, to, Spyro. and none of them are on there, and, uh, don't even, I just, no game, and don't even think about Gran Turismo, because they, because it will never be on there, because of, because all the of the licensed music. Game. Yeah, all the licensed music on there? No and way. Of course, is all the licensed cars and other brands in this game. Don't forget about those. It's not just the music, you know? Yeah, I know. And it's just it's just hilarious that like this is what this is what it's like for for, for because like I, it's almost like like what the Xbox 360 was like when when the sales were going bad because of all the problems. They didn't have any in stores for a while. Then they come back, they they decrease the price. This is PlayStation Classic here, and hell, there's also other problems too, like like I mentioned, how Dreamcast guy's console just like stopped working on him after a few hours. That's pretty bad right there. But like, do you have anything else to say about this about this thing? This game is this 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 thing is just an absolute heap of junk. Yes, it it's just basically an. An emulator that you that you spend money on disguised as a classic console. That's basically all it is. That's why the games are shit because they because they're emulators. They're not discs. I mean, if they wanted to, why couldn't they just just put them on little cartridges like how the, the Nintendo Switch does or like the 3DS does? Why don't they do it like that? Technology has gotten advanced to where you can do that, but they didn't for some reason. I just don't know. I mean, you know. If you really want to want to want to want to experience the PlayStation, the love of the PlayStation One, buy this. It's more well worth it. And guess what? You'll you'll, you'll get your money's more worth in the end. I just playing games on a CD like like here like this, Parasite Eve Two, are more well worth it. And that's I don't do, I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything else to say? Well, there is actually something I would like to point out. Because of the PlayStation Classics problems, it actually started. It actually had a huge impact on me, in where I decided to change to NTSC. Oh, really? Tell us, tell, tell us a little, a little about this, Toby. Well, the fact that NTSC is actually faster, and I actually like NTSC a lot more than, of course, PAL. Well, I well, PAL and NTSC both have their pro have their own problems and stuff. So there's a the thing. Both PAL and NTSC have their own problems, so just there, there's no win or lose in this situation there. Yeah, but then again, PAL slower, NTSC is faster. It's true. That's true. Just um, yeah, I just don't have anything else to say. It's just it's just crap. This system could have been a lot better. It could have been been a lot better. It could have been something well worth it. It could, could it could have surpassed the NES and SNES Classic perfectly, but they didn't because. They, they only cared about the money and rushing up for, out for the holiday. If they would have waited and, and stuff, there could have been more games on it. Hell, I would have actually hoping that, that every month they would put more games and more games out for it and stuff, but that's not the case at all. You only get 20 games, and that's all you're getting. You want other games? Too bad. You have to buy a, buy a, buy a PlayStation 1 or so. I kind of just wonder what the PlayStation 2 Classic is going to be like if they, if they make one, that is. I wonder what that's going to be like. Oh, uh, well, it's definitely going to be shit. 
But then again, <laughs> I'm going to hope that Retro Flag, who of course made the Super Pi case here for this Raspberry Pi, would eventually make a Pi Station case probably in the future. And even that would be cool. And even 8-Bit though, who of course made uh, this SF3D Pro here, would eventually even make like a P30 Pro or something like that probably in the future and where I'd be pretty happy to have that uh, and uh, have, actually have a much, much better PlayStation Classic in, in, in the future. Yeah, here's the thing. This thing is, the, you don't even need this thing. You want to download games, PS1 games? Go to the PlayStation Network Store. You can play those games on your PS1. No, no, no. You can play it on your PS3 or PS4. Or you can go do what Toby did and buy a Raspberry Berry, Berry, Berry Pi and stuff like that. You know, that's all you gotta do. You don't need this. Need this. This piece of junk. I know, well, not this piece of junk, but you don't need the PlayStation Classic. You, this thing is awesome. The original PlayStation is awesome, but you don't. But you don't need that that, that piece of junk PlayStation Classic. That that's just hundred bucks and such. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. You got anything else to say? Nope. Just avoid I'm, the PlayStation Classic like a plague. Avoid it. As a horrible word, the Army 21, avoid it like the plague. And don't play it. Don't buy it. You know what? Buy this, you know, you can go to GameStop and buy this, buy this cool mug I just got for 10 bucks. And that's more, well, more worth it in the end. And that's pretty much, much all I gotta say. In fact, that's pretty much all I gotta say. It's just, that's pretty much all I gotta say. It's just not worth it. That's not, so, so stay tuned, there's more videos coming along the way, don't forget to subscribe, like, like, like the videos, comment down below, and don't forget to join my uh, Discord group called TT Burger, TT Burger Gamers United, and the Discord link is, is, in the, is in the description below, so click, so click that and join, I like to talk to my fans and such. That's pretty much all we gotta say, this is Tony and Toby, peace out, and avoid this thing like the...